Hey guys, welcome back to Nintendo Academy and we are live here uh, for some news because today was such a news day that I can't make just one video. If I were to make a video, I would have to make like five to six to seven videos and I'm pretty sure that you saw a lot of your favorite YouTubers out there making like video after video after video after video after video after video. And yeah, I don't think my day-to-day -day job doesn't allow me that kind of time to make like 10 videos in one day. So I'm here live to spend time with you guys, which is my, like the best thing ever, right? And let me go ahead and start with some shout outs here. I'm gonna go ahead to the chat and I'm going ahead and do some shout outs here first. Okay, we have here Rick's, Rick's, Rick's Neo, right? And Rick's Neo? Rick's Neo. Am I saying it right? Rick's Neo, thank you for coming along. We got Ayrton here. We got, let's see here, uh, we got Magic Abu, Magic Abu, is that, am I saying, am I saying it right? I hope I'm saying it right. I'm not, I'm butchering it. Uh, and then we also have Hyung Nim from Fiji. Wow, Fiji. I wanted to go there. Is it, is it, is it very nice out there in Fiji? I actually like, think I'm going to make an episode from there one, one day, one day I will. So yes, yes, we are here live uh, because we have so much news to talk about when it comes to Nintendo and E3 and a lot of a lot of things happening. So yeah, let me know in the comments how are you guys doing? How are you guys feeling? How how was your day? Uh, school, work, family life. How was your day? I'm super interested in knowing to see how your day was and. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, I have a job. I have like a day job. Hopefully this becomes my full-time job along with uh, the One Eye Foundation. That's what I want. I want the One Eye Foundation to be my full-time job together with Nintendo Academy so I can continue to provide uh, the best of things for you guys. And let's see here. Uh, yeah, Hyung Nim says, beautiful place here you should visit. I will visit. Hopefully I want to visit one day, one of these days. But yeah, um, there's a lot to talk about and Nintendo themselves they released some news that makes me happy in a way because that means that some of the predictions that I thought were going to happen at E3 might happen because when Nintendo when Nintendo talks about certain things and they release certain dates for things like uh Pokemon games or other games like publicly on Twitter is because they have something bigger at E3, okay. So let's say, uh, oh my God, they're, they're, they're working on this game, this game, and this game. They only spoke about a little bit on that game, and all of a sudden they just drop the the launch date and how long we have to wait and whatever. They drop news on a regular basis on something like Twitter. That means that they're saving the best for the big event. So. Throw it down in the comments, write it down in the comments. What do you think could be the best thing that Nintendo could throw at us at E3? Like what what we what will be the best thing that Nintendo could throw at us at E3? Like what, what, what will it be a game? Will it be the console? What do you think will be the best announcement that you would hear that would make E3 like, oh my god, the best E3 that I've ever seen? What would Nintendo do? What can Nintendo do to make it the best for you? For me. For me, it would be the Nintendo Switch Pro. I have to say it, it would be the Nintendo Switch Pro uh, because it is the next level in Nintendo systems. And to be honest, Nintendo hasn't always been a very high priced console, okay? So by releasing the Switch Pro, which, or Switch Plus or Switch Up, I've seen different names, but by releasing the next, Switch, there might be a chance that Nintendo decides to keep that next Switch at $299 and then keep uh, lower the, the current Switch and then lower the Switch Lite. That is at least what I hope happens because that means that if the Switch Pro is $299, they make $199 the regular Switch and then $99 for the Switch Lite, right? We can dream, we can, you know, we can hope, right? 
and that'll make it more affordable for a lot of other people to, to, to buy the Switch. So, uh, just like earlier, Nintendo refreshed the Nintendo Switch, the, the regular one, and they didn't really give us another Switch, they just refreshed it with a better battery life. Uh, there's a possibility that Nintendo can also do that. You know, instead of just just giving us a brand new Switch, they just re re replaced the current Switch and keep it at two ninety nine, dollars and then one ninety nine. dollars So that's another possibility with the Nintendo Switch Pro. They, it could just, you know, replace the current version Switch, regular Switch, and keep it at the same price um, so that it could have, you know, it could extend the life of the Switch itself instead of having three consoles out there, you know? So, let's see here in the comments. I'm watching you live and having class here. We, are you watching me live from class? That's not cool, dude. You're going to get in trouble. All right, let's see here. Da -da. Okay, so let's get into the news. Nintendo announced uh, some Pokemon games and the release dates, which I'm, I'm probably sure you've seen outside already in other... Uh, content out there because it's been a crazy news day so let's get right into this right here and i'm gonna go ahead and show you uh what nintendo just released just today okay just today today has been crazy when it comes to nintendo news and they've released so much information that i thought we would go over over it here and let's go ahead and start with uh let's see here they released this beautiful design package here for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and for Shining Pearl. This is the, the, the double pack. And this is where you would get both games into one. Um, and I'm, I, I'm probably going to try to get this so that I can go ahead and, and you know, unbox it, see what, what's special about this box. Other than bring it the games, you know, and then, of course, give one away. And let's see here. They released the... Says here. Also, look forward to a double pack featuring. Okay, let's just let's, let's go back. Let's go back. All right. So here is the first news that we got today from Nintendo. Trainers, get ready and head back to the Shino region when Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl arrives on 11 19 2021 That means that this November, November nineteenth, we are expecting the release. Of these two games, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, coming out this November. November is like a November to me seems like a pretty good month to release other games. And if they're releasing two games just like this one, they might release something even bigger that month too. You never know. All right. So then after that, of course, they released uh, these two things, and then of course they said also look forward to a double pack featuring both games. Which uh, Diamond and Pearl are going to be combined into one and sold um, together with that really nice package design. Then, Nintendo dropped this after that. Set long before the events of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, Pokemon Legends... I call it Arceus. I, I've heard people call it Arceus, but I like to call it Arceus because I like that. It sounds, that arc word sounds more powerful, so I'm going to call it Arceus. Takes the series in a new direction, fusing action and RPG elements. Create the Shino region's first Pokedex and, uh, when Pokemon Legends Ar Arceus arrives on 1 22 That's January 28, 2022. So this game is coming at the beginning of next year we are about seven months away from the uh, release of this game but in the meantime while that game comes out we'll be too busy playing this one right here which will be super awesome and i'm super excited about this game look how beautiful this design this design is you know it looks amazing and hopefully by then you, you know one of you guys who haven't who don't have a switch have have probably won one from nintendo academy and you can get this game and play it as well. And then we have Pokemon uh, Kia, Pokemon Arceus, Legends Arceus, uh, which will be released in January 28, 2022, uh, next year, early next year. Now, 
why am I excited that Nintendo announced this here? Because that means that there leaves more room at E3 for Nintendo to wow us and to surprise us. And let me know, let me know in, in your comments uh, how excited are you about uh, these announcements. Uh, which of the three games are you looking forward to the most? Uh, you know what I'm looking forward to the most? I'm actually looking forward to the most uh, to playing these two. You know why? I didn't get to play the, the original ones. The Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, I didn't play the original ones. Same thing happened with Link's Awakening. I didn't get to play the original one. And I played Link's Awakening, the remake, which was basically a copy of the of the new of the old one but of course nintendo switch with the new graphics very beautiful game and i enjoyed it so much so i'm looking forward to playing uh the this one uh because I, I didn't get to play the old ones so yeah let me know in the comments which game are you guys uh looking forward to the most do you like uh po the pokemon arceus uh game or are you looking forward to the remix and diamond and pearl let's see here uh i see rick's neo says here at 9 32 in the morning in malaysia well it's nine here is actually 8 30 uh at night so you beat me man you are in the future let me know what happens in the future uh rick's because it looks like you are in the future right now I'm pretty sure it's the 27th where you are right now, and it's still the 26th here. So, um, can you tell me what, what uh, you know, what, what happens at E3 if uh, you are in the future? Because, you know, having a friend in the future it could actually help us because we can just kind of give out news before it comes out, right? We can do it. And then uh, Leroy says. It's what half past 2 a.m. Dude, it's 2 a.m. where you live. Man, I'm so grateful that you've decided to stay up late to and you're hanging out here at Nintendo Academy out of all places. Dude, really means a lot. Thank you so much for being here. 2 a.m. man. That's crazy. Yeah, it's actually uh 27 here, Philippine time. So uh 27. What's 27 in Philippine time? Is it to like eight or it's eight thirty four a.m. So we got eight thirty four a.m. where Charles lives. We got twenty seven in Philippine time, which what is it translated to? And then we got two a.m. for Leroy, and we got Rick's at eight thirty two in the morning. It's more it, it, you guys almost almost all of you are in the future. I'm still in the past. And you guys have probably already heard this news before then. That's what I'm kind of coming to a conclusion here. So it's crazy that we're having such uh, a newsworthy day. And let's go ahead and continue up and scroll up. Let me see here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's go ahead and continue scrolling up so I can continue to show you more news. Now, this is another one. Uh, the time has come for. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to read that one. I don't like that one. Blah, blah, blah. I've never liked that game for a reason. I want to go and pass it. So, launch sequence initiated for Monster Hunter Rise version 3.0, Crimson Glow, Valstrak, Apex, uh, Zingre, Zingre, and a new story ending will be available on May 26 and 27. So that means that today, today. Uh, we'll get a Monster Hunter Rise 3.0 version with a new ending. That is so cool. Let's see here. This might be out on the question, but I think time travel is... Charles, I'm with you. I think time travel could be real. Maybe not right now. Maybe we don't have the technology for it, but I think it could be real. Yeah, we can discuss that in a future video. Time travel... I think it could be real. Dude, they added uh, various tracks instead of uh, Asteroids. Yeah, what can you do? I'm from 2029. Well, 2099, that's like a long time in the future, dude. One of my first persons to pronounce my name right. I did? Cool. Awesome. 
And what else here? Let's see here. And yeah, let's continue to go up in the news. I want to go ahead and read some comments and then also talk some news so that I can interact with you guys. That's the best part of this. Being live is interacting with you guys in the chat and also um, sharing some news with you. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about this news. Let me know what you think about Pokemon games. Let me know what you think about uh, the new Monster Hunter Rise 3.0 update. And by the way, there's a demo available right now. There is a demo available right now. So uh, you can actually play Monster Hunter Rise completely free right now uh, with the demo. And demos, don't ignore them because they have plenty of game time. So much game time that the uh, game makers actually allow you to save the game. And if you ever decide to buy it later on, you can continue where you left off. That's how much game time some of these demos have. It's crazy. Sometimes I play demos and I just I don't buy the game. I just play the demo. And once it's over, it's over, and I go on to the next demo. It's a good game. It's a good way to get free games. Uh, let's see here. We got Monster Hunter Rise. We got that already. So tons of Wrathful Vanishing Pits, something, something, Monster Hunter Story, and Doogie Hauser. Okay. So this is another story here that was really interesting. So apparently now the Nintendo has 100 classic games on the Nintendo online system. And super interesting that Nintendo would announce, uh, put this posting right here about Nintendo Online on a week of E3. Because if you if you if you see here, uh, Nintendo is is practically giving us all the news we we they want to share with us, but it's not as big a news as what's going to happen in E3. And not only that, but what we see here on Nintendo's page could be a hint about of what we see on E3. So we might see a new Pokemon game. So they went ahead ahead and put some Pokemon games out there. We might see a new Nintendo Online with uh, with the GameCube games and uh, and um, Nintendo 64 games. So Nintendo went ahead and just kind of dropped a hint saying, hey, we have Nintendo Online. We have 100 uh, classic games. And maybe that's all the games that the classic one is going to have for now. But then they're going to add the 64 and the GameCube. And we're going to see that in E3. So that could be also another hint. Uh, let me get here. I wanted to, uh, I wanted uh, Monster Hunter Rise on an emulator, but I remember that my laptop is older than me. Oh man, <laughs> sorry about that, man. Uh, good emulator, by the way, is um, Open Emu. Emu, if you have Mac, um, it's like a, it has like an emulator and it has a whole bunch of games and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. And Legends. Speak of an ancient ancient voice that resonates inside the sword. The spirit fires. Okay, this is this looks familiar. This is uh the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword is right here. So does this inform information invigorate you? Does it? I don't know. I'm not really too invigorated by this information. I'm more invigorated by the by the information that Breath of the Wild 2 provides, but Skyward Sword, mm, nah. All right, let's go. Let's go up. Warm up those zombie knuckles. Okay, I gotta admit, the first time I heard I, I heard this, warm up those zombie knuckles. For some reason, the word knuckles stood out. I'm like, wait a minute, are they making a zombie Sonic? A zombie Sonic? A zombie Sonic? And they have knuckles there as zombie because it's like warm up those zombie knuckles. So I was picturing like a zombie, a zombie knuckles, a zombie Sonic. Try saying that five times. Zombie Sonic. <laughs> Crazy. All right. So warm up those zombie knuckles before uh, Diage, Diagie, whatever. I don't, I, some of these names I can't pronounce. Defiance of Destiny launches on Nintendo Switch on June 29th. That's another game that I do not recommend because look at all this stuff here. It's not great. All right. Let's go up here. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And we have here another game. This was this one was announced yesterday, and it's Knockout City. Uh, it says, Welcome to Knockout City is live. Wait, is it live now? 
Oh, season season one. So I guess uh, Knockout City is available now on the eShop, which is pretty cool. I gotta check that game out. And Minecraft. Do you have have you got have any of you in the chat have played Minecraft before? And should I play Minecraft on the channel? I mean, Minecraft is such a classic game. And what gaming channel doesn't play Minecraft, right? Pokemon introduced to Nintendo and World of Games. This franchise helps me a lot to learn English. I make a lot of friends because of all the franchise. I read all the mangas. That's really cool. That's very, very cool. Um, and yeah, um, have any of you guys played Minecraft? I know Minecraft is on the PC. If you are in school, Minecraft is free to download, by the way. You just, just search free Minecraft for education. You can download the Minecraft, and it has all the same features as the regular Minecraft. Uh, but Minecraft is a really good game. I, I used to play Minecraft a lot with my daughter, and it's amazing. Super cool. I built, like, really crazy, crazy stuff. I actually built a Titanic in Minecraft. If you guys want to see that one day, I'll, I can go ahead and then do gameplay for Minecraft and then show you my builds. I built a hotel like a giant hotel for zombies. So it's called Monster Hotel. And I made uh, a huge giant hotel with a whole bunch of rooms. Uh, I made a, I made a room that was literally uh, huge. Like pretend like you're playing Mario and you go to the oversized world. I made a room for giant monsters with a pool in the backyard and a whole bunch of other things there. We have here uh, some Nintendo Minute stuff. And then we got more Skyward Sword thing and Metopia. But yeah, um, Pokemon Arceus is coming out in January 28, 2022. And then we got, uh, I guess we have 100 classic games on Nintendo Online. Monster Hunter Rise is getting an update. And uh, we have here uh, Brilliant and... Uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl coming out in November of this year. I am guessing that Nintendo is also planning on releasing something else bigger in November that we don't know about. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to some comments. All right. I played both Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons. So if you played Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons, which one is your favorite? To me, it's Minecraft. I couldn't get it to Minecraft Dungeons way too much uh but I, I really got into minecraft like crazy i mean played every day built like crazy and and yeah i still like uh, i love minecraft minecraft is awesome minecraft is a timeless game doesn't matter when you start playing it it's a brand new game all the time i, uh, I love about the minecraft team that they're always constantly releasing updates and i like minecon minecon is an event they hold they held every single year where they they update the game and bring new things uh, to the game, uh, new biomes, new mo new monsters, new uh, architecture, new villagers, uh, new ways of playing. It's cra It's good because they're constantly updating it. And the good thing is that if you already own Minecraft, that the updates are free. You don't have to pay for the updates. You get to enjoy like a brand new feature of the game. Then you, it feels like you're playing a new game every single year. So they have a good model over there. So Minecraft is a good. Game I recommend. I truly recommend. If you guys want to see some um some of the builds, let me know and I, I can go ahead and and go over that. But yeah, I mean today, Nintendo just released all of this cool um, details about Pokemon uh, and Pokemon uh, Diamond and Pearl. And to me, it's good news because that means that there are there is more space in E3 for surprises. These games have already been announced before, but now we know the date and they're not going to be announced at E3 because they already announced it there. There's no point in, in taking time from a stage as big as E3 to just repeat uh, a release date from a game again, all over again, when they can use that that uh, that stage to, to wow their fan base and, of course, make their investors happy. So... I still think that Nintendo will announce the Switch Pro for E3, and if not the Switch Pro, they're going to be talking. They'll they'll mention we are working on Project 
uh, Mario's Red Hat or something. They'll call it a project something. Project something. And then they're working on this and they provide some updates. Breath of the Wild is another thing that is going to be at E3 for, uh, uh, I, I, I know this. I just, deep inside, I know Breath of the Wild will have a longer trailer. And we might, we might even get a release date for Breath of the Wild too, Because um, I just feel it. It's, it could happen. It will happen. Let me let, let I'm gonna go here to my uh, Twitter. By the way, I use Twitter just to kind of, uh, you know, for news. I don't really tweet that much. Um, I just basically just kind of look at Twitter and watch the news. And let's go over to Nintendo Live. Nintendo does a lot of um, they do a lot of updates as well. Uh, okay. Uh, yep, we got the news of, of the 100 games to the Nintendo NES. And what do we have here? Capcom Switch sale discounts uh, for games for a limited time. So yeah, right now they're they're having a, a Nintendo eShop sale uh, at Capcom. Uh, so if you have a Nintendo Switch, a Nintendo Switch Lite, uh, if you want to uh, get a hold of these sales, and even if you don't you don't have a Nintendo Switch right now, you can always go to Nintendo.com and then uh, kind of buy little games there until you get your Switch. That way you have your collection before you even get your Switch. And let's see here, uh, what is this? Marsupliami, uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like a nice game. Okay. All right, what else we have here? Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, Wings of Ruin gets new story and gameplay details. If you wanna go ahead and check more information on that, they have it here at Nintendo uh, Life. Uh, what else is this here? Oh yeah, we went over that already. Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, new update for Pokemon Home. Pokemon Home is basically the, it's like an, uh, the app that you download where you can actually transfer in and out uh, Pokemon from your Pokemon um, Sword and Shield and, and, and every other Pokemon game you have. Uh, let's see here. Blah, blah, Pokemon Arceus. We saw that already. And let's see here. Yep, we got that news. What the heck is this? Is this a real game? Wow, that's crazy. All right, let's see here. Random, we're getting major D Nintendo DS vibes from Microsoft Surface Duo. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, okay, so this is another one right here. The Nintendo, uh, um, the, uh, the Zelda's 35th anniversary is, I think it's a given. It's going to happen. Uh, 10 years ago, 10 years ago at E3, uh, the last thing Nintendo did 10 years ago was celebrate uh, the 25th anniversary of, of Zelda, The Legend of Zelda. And it's 10 years later, and that's why I think, uh, I think, and I'm, I could say I'm 90% sure that there will be uh, The Legend of Zelda's 35th anniversary at E3. Okay, next to the announcing, announcement of Nintendo Switch Pro. Breath of the Wild 2 will have a bigger trailer, a longer trailer, which will explain more of the game, uh, show some gameplay, and hopefully announce a, a release date and uh, the uh, the Legend of Zelda's 35th anniversary, uh, which of course Breath of the Wild 2 will be like the main kind of announcement for that anniversary, uh, and we will have the Nintendo Switch Pro announcement. That those are my predictions. I think. Uh, this will be a great year. Nintendo knows that in 2020 it was pretty difficult. You know, it was uh, they were delayed in so many ways, and 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 morale was pretty low when it comes to gaming and announcements. And I think they want to make it up to us. I really do. I think Nintendo does really have a. You know, they 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 really think about the players, uh, not just the 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 investors. But I think that this year we'll have the. Legend of Zelda's 35th anniversary, and then we'll also have the Nintendo Switch Pro uh, either announced or spoken about in a certain way, like you know, maybe you know, like a code, whatever. It's code blue. Let's call it code blue. So we are working on code blue, and this will code blue, blah 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 blah. Because I know that uh, for Nintendo GameCube, they said they did the same exact thing 
on an E3 before they announced Nintendo GameCube. Uh, in a prior E3, they spoke about uh, Code Dolphin. They call it Project Dolphin. And that was Nintendo GameCube um, later on. So hopefully this is what happens with the Nintendo Switch. And we get Nintendo Switch Pro, right? So um, let's see here. Nintendo. Okay, so these are my... Now that Nintendo already spoke about uh, these Pokemon games here, which I thought that they would be part of the presentation for uh, Pokemon since they're celebrating the 25th anniversary. Uh, I don't think they're going to have 25th anniversary of Pokemon at E3. I think they're going to have a 25th anniversary of Pokemon later on, maybe in November or, or down the line or maybe next month in J July. Uh, because if they're going to go ahead and announce the, 20, the 35th anniversary of Breath of the Wild at this E3, to kind of commemorate, com commemorate that, um, that tradition, 10 years ago they announced the 25th anniversary of Legend of Zelda. So 10 years later, here we are. Um, and they could do it again. 20, 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. And then in two months we'll get a uh, uh, direct uh, dedicated to Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Nintendo likes the number of five a lot. So, Charles, you are right. Uh, Dolphin, a GameCube emulator. Yeah, you are right. So, Dolphin, they probably took Dolphin. Uh, the Dolphin emulator probably took the name from that point when they found out that Nintendo had the Project Dolphin I'm working on. Uh, which turned out to be the GameCube, then I'm pretty sure that at that point, once the GameCube came out, then these, uh, uh, I would say, developers or programmers got to work on creating the Dolphin emulator, I guess to honor that Project Dolphin that Nintendo actually had uh, had done before. So, Charles, you are right. It was it, Right now, we do have like a, a, an emulator called Dolphin, so you, you're correct on that. Uh, so yeah, I think the Nintendo Switch Pro will be announced in some shape or form as a project or with the new name. And I think that The Legend of Zelda will have its anniversary at E3, uh, along with the Breath of the Wild uh, full trailer with more information on the game and hopefully a release date. Okay? So, do you guys want to see some concepts of the Nintendo Switch Pro? Because there are a lot of them out there, which are super fun to watch. Like, different concepts of what it could look like, which is super cool. Okay? So, I think I have here... Check this out. Let me see if you can see this. Let me go ahead and kind of bring this over here. Okay, so let me go ahead, if I can go ahead and click on this. And bring it over here. No. Well, let me go there. Okay. So, let me see if I can kind of maybe just close it down here. But, yeah, I'll bring it over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at these concepts. They're really cool. So, this right here, this concept that you see here on screen right now, take a look at it. The, the box is completely red. And then we have here the Switch Up. The Switch Up was actually my very first um, suggestion for the Nintendo Switch and for a new name. The Switch Up. It was, um, I, I, I thought it was a Switch Up or Switch Plus. Switch Up because, um, or Switch Plus because we're getting a bigger screen on a Nintendo Switch. And we're going up in the quality of the graphics. So... Right now, this is this is a pretty cool concept here. It's called the Switch Up, and I really I really like this one. Uh, let's see here. Okay, my screen is acting up, but let me go ahead and no, I don't want to go there. Stop trying to try to stop trying to make me go to this website that probably has viruses and stuff. Okay, so right here, this will be the actual game. This will be the actual. Uh, the actual box and how the game would look inside. Um, let me see here. Uh, we have here, this is uploaded by Kevin Kenson. 
Uh, and it was designed by Oliver Raymond. This is a design by Oliver Raymond. And he did a great, a great job in designing uh, this right here. Looks pretty awesome. This box is awesome. If you take a look at, at the design up here, there's a lot of detail in the box um, leading back to Nintendo's history, which is pretty cool. And that looks, this is, for now, this is my favorite box design. I haven't seen any other. Uh, and this will be the, the new dock right here. This is the Switch. It's laying on the dock and then it'll project on the TV. And then this is, this is how it looks like when the switch is like, you know, you, you take it out the dock and it wirelessly connects to the dock so it can display on TV. This is a pretty cool concept and I actually enjoy this a lot. The screen is bigger. The switch, the only thing here that I see is that the switch light, I mean the switch pro uh, might have detachable joy cons right here so that you can actually uh, switch them out. Uh, Nintendo, if they're going to go up in price, they're gonna make sure that they give you the best for the price, and they're gonna—they're not gonna make it look like a Switch Lite with with uh, attached Joy Cons. They're gonna make it detachable, uh, and they probably have maybe different Joy Cons, maybe with the with a bigger a better grip. All right, so let's go ahead and take another another look at another Switch Lite. This is the same. This is the same exact one as that one here. Uh, the SD card is on the side. And then we have the huge screen here. This looks very professional. The other thing is that, of course, again, the, the Joy-Cons, I'm pretty sure they're gonna come out. They're not gonna stay there. Uh, let me see if I can find more. Da -da -da -da. I think there's more around here. Uh, this is another one that's very cool and looks awesome. I'm not sure if Nintendo will release it in purple, but they could have like Joy-Cons like this, right? Because it looks pro, it looks pro enough. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree 100%. It does look like a Vita. Um, so this one right here, I love the screen size here, how it looks. Um, it looks like a Nintendo, but the color, I'm not sure if the, they're going to release a color like that. Nintendo's colors are always red, blue, uh, maybe, maybe a black console just like they have here. That gray type and even the purple uh, color just like this controller here, just like the GameCube. Uh, Nintendo never leans in uh, lighter colors like this. They always, they're always, they're like a colorful company, so they have, you know, they have to see the colors. Let's go ahead and click search here to see if we get more of the concepts here. We saw that one. This right here would be pretty cool. Look at this dock. This is a different dock, and. It, you can actually have different cartridges in this game and just press which um, slot you're going to play with. This is a very cool um, design here. Slot 1, slot 2, slot 3. You can have the physical copies uh, there and then you can interchange between, uh, between games without taking it out. And it holds up to 1, 2, 3, 4 games. I wonder if this exists. Is, is this the new... Nintendo Switch Pro, hmm, that is very cool. This right here, this is very cool. Uh, but I don't know where, where the Nintendo Switch would dock here. This is just basically like a little stand uh, for the games, which is pretty cool. This is very nice, very cool concept. But there is no area for the Switch to actually, you know, dock. And then we are getting a dock so we can play and hand, I mean, and on TV. Let's take a look at more concepts. See here, this one is just a switch with a bigger screen. Okay, what else? I think that's about it. That's all the concepts we have. I know there is a, a concept that was designed by, um, forgot this, uh, uh, Zone of Tech. Uh, made a Nintendo Switch concept that was really cool. And, and they have a pretty good team out there making very awesome con uh, concepts. They normally do um, iPhone 
they don't really do iPhone news and stuff, but they, they, they made a very nice concept and it's right here. This is the concept for uh, the Nintendo Switch Pro that Zone of Tech made here. And this one, believe it or not, to me is the closest that I think the Nintendo Switch Lite would look like. It has the bigger screen. So it has the bigger screen right there. It has the Joy, the new Joy-Con. Remember that patent that we discovered here at Nintendo Academy earlier this earlier in a few episodes, like maybe months ago. The same exact controller. We have the big uh, screen here, and and the I would say the width of the controller seems about right. So this is the closest that I that I can say that the Nintendo Switch Pro could look like, just like this. Now, I see a lot of people designing this purple color here for the Switch Pro, and I'm not sure if they are going to, what's going on here? Why, why, why is it covering it with black? Uh-oh, I think Nintendo discovered that we were onto them when it comes to uh, discovering their Nintendo Switch Pro. Maybe this is it right here. And then they're trying to black out my screen so that I can't see it. Maybe they have a box like this one with the switch like this one. So, yeah. Those are really cool concepts for the Nintendo Switch Pro. And I, I, I my favorite one was the last one. The one that was designed by Zone of Tech. They have a really good video. Um, with what they have um, all the rumors put together and they designed that one if you got if you want to go take a look at that video It's pretty cool um, But yeah um, Nintendo e3 is gonna be awesome. There's a lot. There's a lot happening uh, There's a lot happening this uh, This this week up to e3 um, Just to let you guys know I'm gonna be a uh, part of a panel at Nintendo Prime, if you guys are watching Nintendo Prime, uh, I spoke to Nintendo Prime um, to Nate a, a few weeks ago uh, from Nintendo Prime, and he is going to uh, he invited me over to be part of the panel over there from E3. So we're going to be live over there. So uh, once I get the dates, I'll let you know uh, so that you guys can go head over to and watch the live stream over at Nintendo Prime. If you're not subscribed yet to Nintendo Prime, go ahead and subscribe now. Let them know Nintendo Academy sent sent me. And um, yeah, we're, we're going to be there live um, for one of the E3 presentations. We're going to be reacting live to it. Uh, they're going to have a massive giveaway over there. I'm going to bring my I'm going to bring some things and I'm going to bring and give them away over there as well. So, yeah. That is what we have in store pretty soon. It says here, I don't know how I'm supposed to get a Switch Pro when I can't get a Switch or Switch Lite. Well, uh, Young Nim, if you hang out at Nintendo Academy for a while, you you probably will increase your chances of, of, of getting it, of <laughs> getting one. So yeah. Uh, just let you know guys know e3 is gonna be awesome my predictions. Okay, and write this down Nintendo Switch Pro is gonna be announced or uh, hinted um, The Legend of Zelda's 35th anniversary will come. All right, that's another one. What else did I say? Switch Pro I didn't know Zelda 35th anniversary at ah, Breath of the Wild long trailer will be displayed there long trailer will be displayed there um a new legend of zelda game as well hopefully a remake of one of my favorite games uh, hopefully it's uh, a link to the past a la link's awakening hopefully that will make it to the e3 i know nintendo is going to have a lot of uh things uh planned for the 35th anniversary of the legend of zelda like the nintendo online a game they they always have uh, and take away. Hopefully, leave it a little longer. Um, a lot of goodies out there. Even if you don't have a Nintendo Switch, you can go to the Nintendo.com, make a, make an account, and 
start accumulating points. Um, you can actually accumulate, I think, silver points. And then those silver points, you can actually exchange for real things they have on the website, like uh, like cards, calendars, keychains, um, watches. They have a whole bunch of things there, uh, even plushies like that. So you, so you want to have your Nintendo online, uh, your, your Nintendo.com account, and start getting those silver coins. And I think you get silver coins just by kind of going over the website. I think they have little little games and stuff that you can play there, earn some silver coins. Um, yeah, and then earn some free stuff from Nintendo. So, all right. So I guess that's good for today. We had a good live. How long have you been? Have you have we? Look at me. I'm I'm mumbling. I don't even know what I'm saying. So how long have we been live so far? Couple of hours, three, four, five hours, six, seven hours, eight, nine. Have we been how have have we been live for the past nine hours? Have we? Let's see. So we've been live for forty nine minutes. Okay, forty nine minutes. All right, sorry. So so we so we're so we're good. So we're good. Forty nine minutes. All right. All right. So yeah. So that's that's it for this live. Um, stay tuned with more announcements. I'm gonna be live at uh, with uh, the team over at Nintendo Prime. During the E3, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna join forces and talk Nintendo, have a lot of fun. Uh, we're also gonna talk a little more on um, the One Up Foundation and just have fun, right? That's all. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Having awesome family fun at Nintendo Academy and of course at uh, Nintendo Prime. So if you have not gone there yet, go ahead, go there, subscribe, and write in the comments. Nintendo Academy set sent me and I'm looking forward to the live at E3. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Ayrton. Thank you, Hyungnam. And everybody else in the chat. Uh, and this is this is it for this video. I am Mike Perez and this is Nintendo Academy. Here we go. And that thing came out short.